Hey guys, you're Marty Geek. In this video, I'm gonna be playing a little bit more of Dauntless on the Nintendo Switch. I already did upload a video in portable mode, so I hope you actually watch that. Like you see here, we're on the Switch, and uh, of course, we are logged in with Marty Geek. I'm gonna be editing a little bit the loading screen a little bit. That way I can share with you guys a little bit more of gameplay instead of watching the loading screen load up. Uh, the initial load of this game, it takes a while on the Nintendo Switch. Um, over, I would say over a minute. Um, here we're doing some Twitch Prime. Okay, there you go. I got some Twitch, time, Twitch Prime stuff I had to uh, claim. Uh, yeah, since I'm a Twitch um, Prime member, there's a, 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 a they all the time they give like free stuff for Twitch Prime users, uh, depending on what type of game you're playing, and it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So here I'm gonna have to figure out what the hell was all that thing for that I collected. Uh, these are the armor that I have so far. So far I'm actually using axe. I think I am using axe. Um, the armor that I have, these two that I created so far, Boreal, I'll switch into the Boreal, you got the Boreal armor as well, I need to get some gloves, these are the recruit ones, and I think I need to get some, some cover for the, for the legs as well, uh, let's go to the location where the exclamation mark is at, and um, one thing about this game that I've been noticing a lot is that the frame rate drops a lot when you're in this area right here, uh, walking around and running around and from one location to another. That's when the frame rate drops a lot. But during gameplay, I don't notice that much of a bad uh, frame rate. So here we need Hunt Lesser, Go Shot, okay, and Upgrade. I also need to upgrade some of the, um, the armors that I have. Like, you see, um, you create armors with her. So if you want to create an armor that you don't have, you could do that here. You got Boreas, Drask, Ember Main so far. Uh, as you keep on playing, you'll be, you're going to be unlocking a lot more. So for legs. Dun, dun, dun. Uh -huh. There you go. So we got that. Catch you next time. Okay. And uh, let's go to the mission. We ha we need to hunt the right here. Let's all quill shot. There you go. So like you see, we are good. Weapon power 140, 100. Armor 90, 100. We're below when it comes to armor, but we're still good. I did edit there a little bit the loading time. And let's go ahead now. Match found. Yeah, baby. There you go. So I also wanted to talk a little bit about the awards that happened this week, uh, which, um, of, of course, the biggest news about the awards this week was that uh, we got the announcement of the new Xbox uh, console, which uh, I like the way it looks. I'm glad that they announced it, something we were not expecting at all. And, um, of course, coming out holiday, but I have a feeling that console is going to come out a lot earlier once we know the release date of the PS5. Okay, so, but for the game of the year, the game of the year was actually Sekiro, which um, from the list that was there, I think I'm glad it was Sekiro and not Death Stranding or Control. Um, Sekiro, I, I started playing it like uh, right after Black Friday because I got it for Black Friday. And it's a really good game. It's a really good game and it looks great as well. The mechanics are great as well. But man, it is very punishing. It is very hard. It's one of those soul-like soul type of games. And it is, it is really, really hard. But it is beautiful. It looks great. It looks The mechanics are great. So if you're into the soul type type of games, I think you th that's a must pick. It's a must pick. It has a good story as well. So 
yeah so it's pretty it's pretty good i'm glad from that list it was the one who won because honestly i was not liking uh the picks i think in my opinion um uh, star wars jedi fallen order should have been should have been in the group as well i also think that luigi's mansion or you know how you call the other one the fire emblem three houses i think that should have been on the list as well but I don't know for some reason i don't uh, i don't like the fact that like every nintendo game was only um put in the family category in the family category that's it i think yeah that was the fighting one but um smash brothers actually won fighting game of game over mortal kombat honestly for me for me smash brothers was a 2018 game and that's what I hate about this uh, awards. They're doing it too early, in my in my opinion. In my opinion, these awards should be um, given on the first week of January or the last week of December, because we're cutting a lot of games from the year. For like, for example, this year we just cut um, Star Wars and Pokemon. You know, Sword and Shield, two great games that now they're gonna have to compete for next year. 2020 are you kidding me i don't know i don't like that i really don't like that so for me best fighting game of the year was mortal kombat that's for me because smash brothers was a 202018 game that's how i that's how i see it and and so on so on for but i really liked the show i really did like the show where the hell is this sucker okay i hear something Okay, I do hear something. Why is no why didn't nobody launch a flare? Nobody did launch a flare, right? Yeah, I'm surprised. Nobody launched a flare letting me know or us know that hey, the, the sucker's right here. There you go. Oh crap. Oh my god. <laughs> there you go. So this time around I actually decided to use the axe weapon. Oh yeah. Oh nice. I normally always use the in this game there's no arrow, right? That's the thing about this game, I think I realized. Unless you unlock it later on, but there's no... Because I'm an arrow and bow guy. Oh, crap. There you go. Some health there. Boom. Boom. I'm holding the holding down the the button so it can charge the attack. There you go, and boom! Nice. <laughs> oh man. Okay, he's halfway there. We cut his tail. Boom! There you go. Whew. There you go. Boom! There you go. Now keep in mind, you can also play this game solo. You don't have to play with all these people. Uh, that's something that I just noticed. Um, there you go. Oh, he's done. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. He is done. Lesser quill shots lane. Nice. B rank. S plus. Okay, leave hunt. That's the loot that we got. We leave the hunt. And now we're going back over here. 
Okay, so we got that done. Let's go over there to upgrade a piece of armor from each slot to one. Okay, with him, we upgrade our weapons. With her, we upgrade our armors. Good to see you. All right, go. So we're going to have to upgrade something here. I don't know if it's every everything. Okay, that two plus one. No, let me go and choose this. A new helmet. And then upgrade that to plus one, right? Now, let me see. Okay, I upgraded this. The armor, plus one. We got some of that. Okay. And... We got that. Okay. And... Okay, we got the armor, the on the legs. Okay, we need to upgrade the mask, the helmet. One of these helmet. There you go. And we're done, right? Yep, complete. There you go. We got our rewards, and we completed that mission. There you go. Look at that. New look. Oh, my character also feels a little bit lighter as well. I think I was too heavy before. <laughs> there you go. But, like you see there, it looks really, really bad, the frame rate here. Oh, she has a mission. Catherine Sorrell. Achieve Layer Slayer 2, Level 2, Hunt Scarn, complete a middleman's quest. Okay. Okay, she actually has a couple things we have to do. Scarn Hunt unlocked. Okay. This guy also has something here. Let's track this beast down. Craft two blitz tonic with boson. Equip a blitz. Good ship will always bring you home. Okay. Scarn. Okay, so here holy crap, wait a second. Armor is one forty, one fifty. Armor power, 90, 50. Huh. I think uh, we need to upgrade that. <laughs> yeah, because based on my equipment, my loadout, I'm way below when it comes to the armor power. Uh, armor, oh, armor power, yeah. Weapon power is pretty good. It's just a little bit lower. And that's it. So, I think we should go ahead and try to upgrade before the match you actually find is found. Ah, crap. Match found. Let's see if we can upgrade. Okay, let's go and look for the, the weapon that I'm using is... Nope, not that one. Uh, that These are hammers. Okay, it's this one right here. This one right here. That's the one I'm using. There you go. Upgrade it. And let's get out of there. Whoops. There you go. We got loaded right away. And look at that. Weapon power, 180, 150. Armor power, we're still below. But at least the weapon, it's it's good. So we can change here right before the match if I'm missing anything. Okay, we got... Okay, we got now we now we got three masks there. So I don't know which one I should choose here. But there we go. Mm-hmm. We got at least a new armor for the arms. And we got armor for the legs. We're good. We're below when it comes to po armor power. We're way below, I would say. But weapon power, we're way above. That's good. So, there you have it. One, two, three. We're in the game. One more game. Fight, and we're done with this video. But let me know in the comments about the our awards. 
Uh, should they change the date or not? In my opinion, that's the only thing that I would love to see change from these awards. I, I actually like the way the awards are being done. You know, I, I don't have a problem that it lasts like almost three hours. I don't have a problem with that. Um, we're celebrating a year of gaming. So, you know, hey, man, I don't care if it's two hours, three hours. Um, it's, it's something great. It's something once a year that's celebrated. And I love the way it's being done. This year, for me, it was great. It was awesome. But I just think that it should be changed, the date. I think the date should be pulled back to at least uh, the last week of December or the first week of January. That way we can look back and remember all the great games from the year that just ended. You know, I think that's the way it should be because, you know, it's not fair that every year we're cutting games that came out in November and December. I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's fair. And I don't think it's fair for those games to compete with games that are coming out during the year. Because right now, Star Wars, Jedi Falling Order, and Pokemon, Pokemon game, they're going to have to compete against all these awesome games coming out in 2020. And come November, I'm not going to be thinking about, you know, after playing all these games on 2020, I am not going to be thinking about games that came out on 2019. You know, when it comes to considering games for the year, I don't care about what happened the year before. You know, I, those games should have been awarded the year before, not this year. So, that's for me, that's the only thing that should be changed is the date. It should be the last week of December or the first week of January. Let me know in the comments if you agree or don't agree with me. Yeah, this guy seems tough. Okay. At least weapon wise, we should be causing a lot of damage. There you go. There you go. Ooh, yes. Ooh, sweet. <laughs> this guy has good armor, too. Oh, man. There you go. Hmm. Come on. There you go. There you go. Boom. Holy crap. Oof. There you go. Boom. There you go, sucker. You like that? <laughs> Nice. Okay, he's almost done. There you go. Ooh. Holy crap. Come on, one more X. Boom. Oh, was I too far? Oh, crap. There you go. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. There you go. Not bad. That was pretty cool. Oh my god, my rank is D? What? That bad I was playing here? Wow. I can't believe it that was D. Okay, I truly sucked right there. But there you have it, guys. Um... We got to, oh, man, look how bad it drops here, man. Man, it really drops a lot, the frame rate here. Okay, she's... Never stop fighting. Okay. Um, wow, the frame rate here drops a lot. That's the thing about this game. Ready for a challenge, okay, we still got to do a mission with this guy. We got to complete something here. All the tonics, pylons and tonics, blah, 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 crafting. So we can go ahead and blitz tonic, iron hide, life drain, tonic, life spring. So we can craft one of those. The life spring, I think, is the one that shares life with everybody else, right? Like health. Good luck, Cap. 
Okay, I think we have to add it, no? Well, hell. Forgot to flick chips, good to go. Oh, uh, did I create some of that? Okay. Huh. This won't wait. Equip uh, equip a blitz tonic to your loadout. So we're gonna have to go to equipment and over here in consumables and equip right there. We got two slots available. We got the tonics. Let's gonna choose that one and let's gonna choose this one. And that's it. We should be done with his mission. There you go. Complete. We're done. There you have it, guys. Um, thanks for watching this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about my opinions about the game awards. And uh, what you think about this game so far on the Nintendo Switch. Do you like it or not? Um, I really like it. I think uh, the port is a very good port, especially when you're playing in the game. Um, yes, here, when you're walking around and all that, there's a lot of frame rate issue. Though It drops a lot. I think that should be fixed if it's not already fixed. Um, but yeah, that's the only thing I would say about this game that so far needs fixing, but in game, it actually feels really good. I really liked how this game feels when you're actually playing the game and it's, it's kind of addictive too, cause I, it's kind of cool to, to come back and buy new armor, buy new weapons, upgrade your armor, upgrade your weapons, get tonics and all that. It's pretty cool. It's really nice game. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Let me know what you think about it till next time guys. Bye-bye. See you.